Thank you. So at Insight, we have a clear mission, and that's to create initiatives that will help our research community grow in important and emerging areas, while also uh, establishing partnerships and collaborations in a very strategic way. Our strategic research fund enables us to develop a suite of programs that encourage innovation and experimentation, while also promoting interdisciplinary collaboration and engagement with key stakeholders. Our programs are run as fixed calls, and that's to ensure that there's fair and equitable access to internal funding. Each proposal submitted to the call is reviewed by a cross-site panel who provide written scores and qualitative feedback to all proposals. In 2022, we invested €350,000 from the fund and administered a call to encourage better collaboration with the TU sector. This resulted in seven new projects with the TUs involving 20 new collaborators, 50% of whom are female. In 2023, we expanded on this remarkable success and ran four additional independent funding calls. Uh, totaling €560,000 in order to support our platform research initiatives, which I'll discuss in a little moment, to strengthen our partnerships with the TU and IoT sector, and to increase capacity in our sustainability research. And today, we're really delighted to announce the details of the projects selected for funding from our calls this year. Insights platform research initiatives are networks that unite researchers to work together towards a common interdisciplinary research interest. Uh, these are flexible and adaptable, and they're most importantly driven by the Insight research community. Uh, to support these initiatives, uh, we requested collaborative uh, research proposals to provide additional resources for our PRIs and to assist our Insight investigators in advancing uh, research excellence in their chosen area. Due to the variability in maturity and activity across the PRIs, we offered two uh, different funding strands for our platform research initiatives. The first is our PRI case study program, and that's for smaller and newer PRIs. It's intended to help the PRIs to develop a work plan or a strategy for the future trajectory of the initiative, while also embedding EPE at the heart of the initiative. The second strand is our PRI project program, and that's designed for larger and more established PRIs. Uh, that program supports collaborative projects from across the different sites in Insight, and it, they also must have identified pathways for impact, as well as the longer term sus uh, sustainability of the PRI. This year, our PRIs received a total investment of €360,000, and our peer review panels have carefully selected three PRI case studies and three PRI projects that will benefit from this investment. Our first PRI case study is, uh, is led by Dr. Brendan O'Flynn from the Tyndall Institute, and this project links to our sensor PRI and involves collaboration with colleagues in UCC, DCU, and the Southeastern Technological University. Uh, the aim of his project is to develop wearable smart textiles with wireless sensors that can be integrated onto professional dancers to create an engaging ICT-informed per performance that tells the story of a 7th century bog skeleton and its relationship to history and climate change in what's a very compelling example of how technology and the arts can work together to inform the public on key issues. Our second PRI project is led by Dr. Derek Green and Dr. Maria Mulvaney from UCD. Uh, they're supported by a wider team at Insight based in UCD and the University of Galway. And their project is linked to our cultural analytics PRI. Um, their aim is to develop an online resource bank for educators and students of the new second level computer science curriculum. Um, and the resources will really showcase how computer science methodologies can be combined with the humanities based approaches. And, and these resources will be piloted in two schools in Galway and Dublin. Our final PRI case study is headed by Dr. Susan Levy and, in UCD and Professor Barry O'Sullivan in UCC. And that's, uh, their work is emanating from our trustworthy uh, PRI, our trustworthy AI PRI. Uh, they'll collaborate with colleagues in UCD and or CSI to create a toolkit for conducting stakeholder engagement in order to perform impact assessments for recommender systems. And they'll have a particular focus on young individuals. 
Uh, this initiative is very important. It underpins a lot of the emerging national digital policy on auditing AI. If we move on to our larger PRI projects, our first PRI project is called Air Aware, and it's led by Dr. Shirley Coyle in DCU and Dr. Paul Galvin in the Tyndall Institute. Their project is an extension of Insight Sensor PRI and involves collaboration with colleagues in DCU, TU Dublin, and the Irish Guide Dog Association. Uh, AirAware aims to create a mobile prototype that uses advanced wearable sensor technologies to measure air quality, and it will provide very valuable insights into how the impact of the environment affects health. Our second PRI project is led by professors Kieran Moran from DCU and Brian Caulfield in UCD. This team is collaborating with an injury biomechanics expert from the Technological University of Shannon, as well as clinical partners from the Sports Surgery Clinic. Um, they'll build on work from our Insight Running PRI to create what's called the Risk 2 platform. And this platform will gather data from sensors on recreational runners nationwide and use this data to then find modifiable, modifiable predictors of injury and performance. Our final PRI project is led by Professor George Shorten in UCC with support from Insight colleagues at UCD and the University of Galway. They'll collaborate with the College of Anesthesiologists of Ireland to create a model that predicts learner performance in high-risk clinical situations using learning analytics and psychometric-based training. And this work will be a really valuable addition to the National Learning Analytics Unit for Health Professionals in Ireland. Insight's collaborative program with the TU and IoT sector is now in its second year and has successfully established collaborations with all of Ireland's uh, technological universities. Um, this has expanded our engagement and presence across the country while also enhancing our research capacity, knowledge exchange and access to infrastructure for both Insight and the TUs. Um, this year we've selected two projects which demonstrate a really strong alignment and complementarity between the two sectors. Our first project in this category is spearheaded by Dr. Andrew Hines from UCD and his collaborator, Dr. Niall Murray from the Technological University of Shannon. Uh, they aim to establish a framework for gathering, gathering and predicting multimodal extended reality data, which will assist healthcare providers in audiology to create innovative training programs for clinicians and individuals with hearing impairment. Our second project has been proposed by Professor John Breslin in the University of Galway and his collaborator, Dr. Michael McCann from the Atlantic Technological University. Their project aims to bring together experts from academia and industry to develop smarter, more sustainable systems and business models in the area of circular economy operations and sustainability. At Insight, we recognise the urgency of addressing sustainability and environmental challenges faced by our planet today. And we believe that digital transformation and AI technologies can play a vital role in this regard. The Insight Sustainability Funding Programme was created to support projects that advance at least one of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals by providing funding to teams that will collaborate with partners from complementary domains or sectors. Uh, this was done to ensure a very holistic uh, perspective as well as to gain a better understanding of the domain-specific challenges related to sustainability. Uh, the two projects funded under this program this year really demonstrate exceptional synergy between the AI and data analytics capabilities and their partners' domain expertise. Our first project funded under this program is led by Professor Tahar Kashadi in UCD, working with, Jennifer Keenahan, with Dr. Jennifer Keenahan. Uh, they're combining expertise in advanced multimodal data analytics and civil engineering to study the effects of increasing winds and harsh weather events on bridge design. Uh, the goal of the work is to develop resilient infrastructure against uh, climate change and also to contribute to disaster risk reduction strategies. Our last project is led by Dr. Harry Nguyen from UCC, and he's collaborating with experts in, with, from biodiversity and digital transformation based in the UK and Australia, and their goal is to advance biodiversity intelligence and monitoring. 
Uh, their project involves developing an AI toolkit that will enable environmental scientists to evaluate the impacts of biodiversity over several time points. Um, and then scientists can upload their data and analyze their own data, allowing for data-driven decision-making for better ecosystem protection. At Insight, we've dedicated over 450,000 euro from our strategic research fund towards our internal programs over the past two years in order to extend Insight's influence and to establish new cooperative ventures. Our participating Insight sites have also released match funding towards these programs, resulting in a total investment of over 900,000 euro. As a result, we've gained more than 40 new collaborators, of whom 45% are female, and all of these are actively involved with Insight and our ongoing projects with the TUs. Uh, the projects announced today showcase Insight's research capabilities across a diverse range of applications and do a really great job of demonstrating Insight's versatility and added value. To finish up, I'd really like to thank our review panels for being so generous with their time. It's a big time commitment and without them we wouldn't have been able to, to run these programs. So thank you very much.